Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Kristen and today I will be showing you how to make this crocheted pot holder. So I am using a six and a half millimeter crochet hook and this super bulky yarn by Lion Brand that is called Side Dish. The stitch I'm using is Thermal Stitch. Um, I first learned this stitch from Sorella. She also has a hot pad, um, or I think she calls it a pot holder pattern that I will link below. And so I s was introduced to the thermal stitch by her and then I started watching lots of videos on how to do the first couple rows of the thermal stitch as well as the last. And um, I guess this is my own variation of it um, for the bottom rows. I, this is how I figured out how to make it so that way you don't have any row looking like a single crochet row and then your thermal stitches. If you could see it looks like thermal stitch all the way from the bottom up and then on the Corn Maidens um, blog I saw that she um, did her last row of a thermal stitch in a way that also at the top it doesn't look like there's any rows of single crochet. And this is my own take on a thermal stitch hot pad, um, which from what I've read has been around for a while and it's a popular stitch for hot pads because it gives you a nice, thick, finished piece. Um, what I haven't found yet, though, is anyone using this super bulky cotton yarn for their hot pad. Um, so I have a pattern for this that goes along with this tutorial. And that pattern I will link below. So to start we're going to take our yarn and we're going to chain 18. I do have a um, tutorial on how to do your slip knot and chain. I will put that in the comment section as well. Okay, so I have my 18 chains. Now for my first row here, I'm gonna, this is the top, I'm gonna flip around to the back and you could see these bumps on the back. You're going to work one single crochet into each back bump. Starting with not this one, that's right by your hook and the yarn, your working yarn, the very next one. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row, and my last stitch here will be in this bump. And I also have a video that I'll link on showing slowly how to do that single crochet stitch. Okay, so my first row is complete. What I'm going to do now is chain one and turn. So now for the thermal stitch, 
we have our first V and we're going to be working into the back loop of that V as well as this first one might be a little hard to see if your slip knot is tight as well as um, the V from the chain at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to insert my hook into the back loop of that first V and into the V from your chain. So right now I have the loop on my hook and two more. I'm going to yarn over and pull through once. And now I have two loops and yarn over and pull through again. So this is just a variation of the single crochet. So instead of though going just through the top, we're gonna go through this back loop here and the one underneath. So pull through once and pull through again. So we are going to do this the entire way across. Okay, so we're at our last V at the end, so you don't want to miss that one. That's, this will be your last stitch. I'm going to insert your hook here. And from your bottom V, pull through once and pull through again. So that is our second row. That's the back and the front. Now every row after will be the same for a total of 24 rows and then your 25th row, your very last row, will be a little different. So we chain one and turn and you go through this first one here and now your, what would have been, I guess your front loop from the row before since we turned it. So back loop and the loop here that's sticking out from your row before. And you're just going to do your thermal stitching all the way across. So if you want to pause the video, I will meet you back at the end. I do want to show you, um, once I get to the end, how the very last stitch, since the yarn is so bulky, it kind of looks like you might need one more. But once you turn and work into the first V going back the other way, it evens it out and you'll end up with a nice straight edge. So this is one that I already have made. Um, so it ends up with a nice straight edge. Okay, so if we were to count our stitches, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So remember we chained one, or I'm sorry, we chained 18 in the beginning. Thermal stitch is a variation of the single crochet. So we skipped that very first V, or the very first back bump, and went all the way across. So now every row we should have 17. Okay, so if you chain one and turn, it you can see here, it kind of looks like we're missing a stitch. But when we work right in to this first one, it 
pushes it back out. So it's always a good idea to count your stitches across, but if it looks like you're missing one, don't worry. As long as you got 17, or you have 17 in each row, it will all even out. Okay, so go ahead and you're going to want to make 24 rows of this thermal stitch. And I will be back once my 24 rows are done to show you the very last row, which is done a little bit differently. Okay, so once you finish row 24, you chain one and turn. So that's where I'm at right now. So for this last row, your 25th row, you're going to, instead of working through the back loop only of your Vs, you're going to work through the front and back loop of your V. Okay, so through the front and back of the V, the lower loop below, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So same exact thing as you've been doing, except this top row is going to be through both loops of the V. And now we're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to cut our yarn. So I think these are called thread snips by Fiskers. I like these a lot. Um, they cut the yarn without any straggly pieces getting stuck. And you're going to cut your tail long enough so that way you could sew in the end. Okay, so you finish off, pull that through. And then you're going to use your darning needle to sew in the end. I do have some other tails to um, weave in here as well. Um, each one takes about one and a third skeins of the Lion brand side dish yarn. Okay, so this is your finished item. Um, it's thermal stitched square um, with the Lion brand side dish yarn. And it's nice for gift giving, they're quick to make up, so if you're going to someone's house last minute and you would like to bring a hostess gift, um, they're nice for that. Also for Mother's Day or Christmas with a cookbook um, or a jar of those pre-made mixes where you put in all of the flour and sugar and everything you need to bake something. Um, they go nice with that as well. Um, but yeah, so these are your hot pads. If you enjoyed your video, the video and you would like to, um, please give us a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe for some more um, crochet tutorials, tips, and tricks. Um, thanks for watching.